Hi, it's Anika from Living for Later. So a little bit under a week ago, I posted a video and in the video I was just discussing the fact that if we are not submitted to God, the gifts that he has given us can prove to be a burden instead of a blessing. But when we submit to him, we can use our gifts to bring him glory and consequently they are a blessing. So today I want to continue speaking about gifts and I want to focus on the fact that we should value our gifts and not try to be like someone else. And a little bit under a year ago I had a dream and I'm not going to go through all the details but in summary I found myself on a college campus trying to operate in a teaching role that was not my area of giftedness. I was trying to become a math teacher and I was actually placed in the class to help teach a math class and it was just in short a disaster because <clears throat> I knew that I should have pursued the route of early childhood education but I felt like that that wasn't good enough and that you know saying that oh yes I'm a math teacher uh, on a college campus was more prestigious anyway the short of it is things became disastrous. I had to eat humble pie and in the dream go back and register in the early childhood program because that was my area of giftedness. And it was just such a, a powerful dream for me because it came at a very critical point in my walk with Christ and him just really trying to teach me some things. Now, in reality, I did get a, in real life, I did get um, a degree in early childhood education. And in real life, I do not do well in math at all. <laughs> not my strong point. So I knew, you know, it's, I've said this before, God uses very specific like imageries and examples so that we can really get what he's trying to convey. And when I woke up, I knew exactly what God was communicating to me because this was an area that I was struggling in. I find that it's so easy for me to compare my gifts to others. And I have mentioned this before, even in my writing, it's very simple, very straight to the point. I don't use a lot of colorful analogies. I can't, you know, make a lot of scientific connections. That's just not how my brain works. That's just not me. It's very simple. I use very simple connections from my everyday life. And for such a long time, I, you know, would read the things that I would write and just be like, oh, this just sounds so simple. And, you know, would even compare myself to others who wrote and God used them in powerful ways. And, you know, they would use these million dollar words. And half of the time I'm like, I don't even know what this word means, right? I would have to go look it up in the dictionary. And I so wanted to be able to like write like that. And they would write and make all these like deep connections. And I'm like, yeah, can't do that. But God was trying to show me that there was value in the way that he gifted me and that I wasn't supposed to be preoccupied with trying to be like someone else because it fails every single time. Because here's the thing, you can have somebody that's gifted in the same area that you are God has given both of you the same gift, but that gift manifests in different ways because he may call you to reach different individuals. And I realized that it was really an insult to God when I was trying to operate like someone else or even downplay the gifts that he had given to me. And I even found that sometimes when I would like try to tell people about my blog and it was almost like I would always try to downplay like, well, you know, it's kind of simple. It's a, and God is like, stop doing that. That's an insult to me. This is how I've gifted you and flow in that with confidence and not try to be like anyone else. And I am getting that lesson right now. And I tell you, when you really get that, you're able to move forward in more confidence and not be jealous of others. Because when you're trying to be like someone else, you can find and not value what God has placed in you. You become jealous of them as opposed to rooting them on and say, girl, go ahead, flow in your gifts and still be confident in what God has called you to do um, and operate in that with confidence, not uh, a Nika confidence, but such a God confidence. 
A lot of confidence was just said, but you get my point. Um, so I just want to encourage you and I want to close with this because I think it's just such a powerful scripture. In Romans 12 verses 4 through 8, it says, Just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special function, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. In his grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So if God has given you the ability to prophesy, speak out with as much faith as God has given you. If your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. If your gift is encouraging others, be encouraging. If it is given, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift of showing for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. So I love this um, passage because it just reminds me that God, we're all a part of one body, but he's gifted us all in different ways. And whatever area that he's gifted you, he didn't say try to be like somebody else. He says, do that gift well, operate in that gift and serve others. So I'm going to conclude there. And again, I just want to encourage you, don't compare yourself to anybody else flow with confidence with what God has placed in you and find value in that. Don't insult God by trying to be like someone else. Don't insult God by dismissing the gift that he's given you. Thank him and again, flow in that gift with full confidence. All right, leave me a comment below. What I just described, is this something that you have struggled with? And how did you come to the place of just being confident if you're in that place right now? All right, you be blessed.